Men entering the building! Stay in your office, lock yourself in. A hard-edged action game focusing on frantic firefights and fluid motion, Max Payne 3 is looking to be the third person shooter to beat in 2012. One of the more remarkable things about Max Payne 3 is just how well the animation system helps you feel the effort Max is making on screen. Max responds as sharply as any other game character would to a button press, but the way the animation system works really helps you absorb some of the agony and exhaustion Max must be feeling. Max's realistic reactions mean that things that should hurt, look like they hurt. When we have Max crash into a wall, his body folds up as he impacts against it. He doesn't just complete the move suspended in mid-air. When we have him leap sideways down a set of concrete grandstand steps and crunch back to earth halfway down, he doesn't just pounce back to his feet. His inertia sends him into a sickening slide down the remaining stairs on his ribs. With Max Payne 3, we're seeing the latest marriage between Natural Motion's Euphoria technology and the Rockstar Advanced game engine. The tech has already been used to excellent effect in GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption, but these are large open world titles. Max Payne 3 is not. It's a laser focused third person shooter. With the narrow scope, the developers have been able to use the additional headroom to really ramp up the authenticity of the animation and physics. Max has thousands of animations that blend into one another, working in tandem with Euphoria to craft incredibly realistic on screen movement. Where you're diving, what's around you at the time, what guns you're holding, and so on, will all affect how Max performs the move you've demanded of him. The work done here to ensure Max moves as realistically as possible in any situation is seriously impressive. In basic terms, where you want to fire a bullet at any given moment is never limited by animation restraints. Just point and blast. Max's body will assume position accordingly. It's seriously cool. The way he rolls and pivots 360 degrees when prone in order to shoot in any direction, the way his body shifts as he skips and rotates to fire behind himself while running away from enemies. The way he picks himself up off the ground, which varies depending on what firearms he's holding at the time. Max Payne 3 is here to fuse the control of a first person shooter with the character of a third. The Euphoria integration naturally extends to the enemies too, similar to what you've seen in GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption before. What you get is far from pre-animated location sensitive death animations, the likes of which even games like The Incredible Uncharted 3 is guilty of. You get enemies reacting accordingly to where they've been struck and by the caliber of the bullet that struck them. A few quick pistol slugs to the central mass of one goon may see him flop to the ground like a puppet with his strings cut, but a sniper bullet to the shoulder of another may see him spinning off into stadium seating in a slow motion flurry of flailing limbs. It even extends to the game's robust multiplayer offering, along with bullet time. Bullet time in multiplayer is based on line of sight. When you activate it, all players within your line of sight will be caught in bullet time. It's not based on proximity, or applied to everyone on the map. It's actually a really clever solution. The action itself, however, in single and multiplayer, has a supremely visceral quality to it, making Max Payne 3 a shooter where good instincts and luck are rewarded as often as pure skill. Max Payne 3 is as satisfying in real time as it is in slow motion. There's a certain Michael Mann style abruptness that has been merged here with a series of more famous Wachowski sensibilities. If the old Max was a scalpel, darting from firefight to firefight, skating around opponents and springing from the ground like a steel trap, the new Max is a wrecking ball. He moves with more weight and purpose, but he's even more devastating. And yet despite this, it's remarkable how familiar it actually feels. Max Payne 3 is a thoroughly modern sequel, built with new technology, and yet it still fundamentally feels like a Max Payne game. For anybody still concerned for some reason, once the music and monologues instantly transport you back and you begin sailing sideways through the air, it feels like nothing but a Max Payne game. It's a real gamer's game in fact. For instance, with no regenerating health, Max Payne 3 will kick your ass if you let it. It really does merge the old school with the new. If you love action, keep this one firmly in your sights. For more on Max Payne 3, check out IGN.com.